Welcome to the Bird Podcast. I'm Shobha Narayan. This episode is about a wood stork. Let's call him Flint Head. So Mr and Mr Mrs Flint Head live in Corkscrew Swamp, which is just half an hour outside Naples in Florida. And this habitat, Corkscrew Swamp, is a great habitat for wood stalks. Wood stalks, Nycteria americana are the only species of the 19 species of storks that flourish in the americas mostly you find find them in the lower southern states which is mostly florida cuba and a lot of them flourish in south america but in florida at coxcrew swamp when i visited dr jerry jackson who i interviewed in episode 5 told me that the wetlands of florida which were once a fantastic habitat for birds including the wood stork um had reduced or receded by 90% and the reason is that in america and this is actually a conservation story the reason is that in america any human can petition to remove a species from the endangered species list so the wood stork which was once an endangered species the florida homeowners association petitioned to remove it from the endangered species list and you can guess what happened next the reason it was once it was removed its habitat was free game for anybody so the wetlands that was where it lived were drained and homes were built and how do you drain a wetland you drain it by through canals and today if you go to florida you still see that you see rows and rows of houses like villas and then there are canals in behind them now this is a problem for our friend mr woodstock because they have evolved in a very specialized way um they have evolved so that when puddle when wetlands recede or as the dry season come the there will be these standing puddles of water which capture fish so there are these puddles of water inside which there are an abundance of fish and the wood stalk times its nesting season so that the babies come out the fledglings come out just as the dry season creates these puddles with captive fish so that they can just pick up these fish and feed their babies here are some facts about the wood stork um it is the only species in north america um they uh they are like raptors when they fly and uh, they may look ungainly on the ground but they take off and they fly like vultures and eagles and kites in fact the word for today is kettling um when raptors fly up in these thermal currents up high in the sky it's called kettling of these birds um the other fun fact is that a group of uh, wood stalks is called a phalanx of wood stalks um and typically they lay 3 to 4 eggs so that these when babies fledge there's a huge need for a lot of fish that is captured in the puddles the wood stalk feeds in a very also in a unique way it uh, it feeds uh, not by sight it just puts its long bill into the marsh and then it feels for the fishes and the minute it feels a fish it quickly snaps its beak in fact its reflex is among the quickest in the bird kingdom so when the wetlands are drained what happens is that the wood stalk has to stand like many waders that we see at the edges of the canals and it has to wait and again put its beak inside to feel for the fish but the problem with this is that the fish swim away so the predator the prey swims away from the predator which is the wood stalk and therefore it cannot get enough of these fishes to feed its ya yeah, its babies and most of them just die so dr jackson told me that the population of wood stalks has plummeted in in florida because of uh, the the draining of all the wetlands and the the fact that these canals were created that brings up the question of whether uh which which is also addressed in our first episode about the great indian buster there are certain birds that are more adaptable than others for example corvids the crow is supremely adaptable but there are certain birds like the buster like the wood stork that have evolved to be very specialized and this was fine as long as humans didn't mess with their ecosystem but with the wood stork having lost its wetlands having lost its puddles of water to feed its babies um has caused the population to plummet so it's a philosophical question of should we allow evolution to happen 
with including human interventions and including human devastation and say, you know what, some species just deserve to go extinct because they haven't adapted or should we make the effort to preserve um, swamps, marshes, bogs, tidal flats, uh, and all these, the mangroves of Sundarbans and all these wetlands that are home to specialized, unique, specific species of birds, um, insects, butterflies and others. Something to think about. So for Bird Podcast, I'm Shobha Narayan. It is produced by Ulla Sanand and Echo Edu. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening.